Welcome. My name is Philip King. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will show you how to set up a local development server environment using WAMP Server 2. WAMP Server 2 is the Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP software stack for Windows XP-based systems. It is an ideal starter platform for creating a local development environment. If you are interested in developing using WordPress or Dreamweaver on a local server, see our website for further videos. A HD PDF video of this tutorial is also available for download on our website. In most web design situations, it's advisable to have a local testing and development environment rather than work on a live website if for no other reason than if you crash the website, you may lose your clients. Your local development machine needs to emulate the web, so you need a HTTP server and Apache is one of the best. You also need a database server and MySQL is also one of the best. You also need an application server and yep, you guessed it, PHP is also one of the best. This combination for Windows based machine is known as the WAMP software stack. For Mac machines it's known as the MAMP software stack. The WAMP Server 2 software stack is the ideal solution for most developers. It is a free package that can be downloaded and used without any registration or license fee. Before we begin the installation, make sure you do not have any other servers such as Internet Information Services running. If you do have IIS running, go to your services panel and stop the service. Our website has tutorials on how to disable or remove IIS if you need help. The first thing we need to do is download the software. So go to the web address shown on the screen, that's www.wampserver.com slash en slash. Click the menu download link to download the most recent version of WAMP Server 2. And take note of the warning on the screen, stating that if you have an older version of WAMP Server installed, you should uninstall that version and delete its directory before installing the new version. Another word of caution at this point. If you have an existing MySQL database, this may also be deleted if it is part of the WAMP directory structure, so make a backup first. Select the download text box when you're ready. Click the Save File button. and save the file to a convenient location. I am just saving the file to my desktop. Once you have downloaded the installer executable, close the browser and the download is complete. We now need to install WAMP, so run the WAMP server installer executable and ignore any Windows security warnings. Click the next button at the setup window. Read and accept the GNU license agreement and click the next button. Indicate where you want to install the WAMP server. I recommend you accept the default location, especially if you intend to run any PHP or MySQL tutorials, as they will undoubtedly presume the default file path. The defaults just make life that little bit easier. Click the next button when ready. You are then given the choice of selecting a quick launch icon and a desktop icon. I am just going to select the desktop icon so I can start the server from the desktop. Click Next when you've made your choice, and then click Install. If you have Firefox installed, you will be asked if you want this browser as your default browser. I have, and I do, so I'm clicking the Yes button. You are then asked for the PHP mail parameters. It requires an SMTP server that can be used to send emails and an administrator email address for use with Apache. If you don't have these details, just accept the defaults. You can change them later if necessary. Click the Next button. As we will start the WAMP server immediately, ensure the Launch WAMP Server 2 option is selected. And click Finish. With the WAMP server running, you will see the WAMP server icon in your system tray. A white icon indicates everything started correctly. Click the WAMP server icon and the administrator interface menu pops up. This allows you to stop and start the server services and administer the software installed. For example, clicking the local host option will display the default PHP page stored in your local root directory. When you see this page, you know the PHP installation is working correctly. 
The file is located on drive C in the WAMP www directory as file index.php. If you scroll down the page, you will see links to PHP MyAdmin and PHP Info. To see the PHP version and installed configuration settings, click the PHP Info link. This page shows you everything you need to know about the PHP setup and how it's configured on your machine. Study it carefully. Click the back button when you're ready. Click the PHP MyAdmin link to start the PHP MyAdmin database application. This will probably be your control center for administering your MySQL database. There are other applications around for this purpose, but PHP MyAdmin is one of the best. Click the WAMP server icon to activate the WAMP server menu when you're finished with the MySQL database, and we'll have a quick look at a few interesting items you need to know. Select the Apache menu item to see its submenu. Of particular interest here is the file httpd.conf. This is the configuration settings for Apache. Select the PHP menu item to see its submenu. Of particular interest here is the PHP INI option. This is the configuration settings for PHP. Finally, select the MySQL menu item to see its submenu. Of particular interest here is the My INI option. This is the configuration settings for MySQL. If you need to turn the Apache server and all its components off for some reason, just right click on the WAMP server icon to display its menu. And select the exit option to stop WAMP server. To restart the server and all its components, select the Windows Start button. Select the Programs menu item. Select the WAMP server menu item. Select the Start WAMP server menu item. Wait a few moments. When the WAMP server icon turns to a white gauge, the server is running correctly again. So that's all there is to setting up a local server environment using WAMP Server 2. You now have Apache, MySQL and PHP running in a Windows environment. Everything you need in fact to start web development on a local machine. In fact the setup is probably exactly the same as your ISP. Although all of these software items can be installed individually, the WAMP Server 2 software stack makes life so much easier. Well, I do hope you found something useful. Don't forget to let me have your comments, and remember, enjoy yourself.